The line between friendly encouragement and sexual harassment is a fine one. For example, if I put my hand on Daisy's shoulder, what's that? That's just friendly. Yeah, but not if you see what my other hand is doing. <laughs> Here's Paul Garner with his illuminating report. Uh, Lucy, why don't you start tell us about your experiences? Well, the thing is, my colleagues, the men, used to make remarks about sex all the time. And a few of them used to brush past me really closely and touch my body. All of these people at this counselling session here in Croydon share a common bond, whether it be racist, ageist, sizist, or, as in Lucy's case here, sexist. <laughs> They've all been victims of the evil spectre that is harassment in the workplace. Linda Jakes took her former bosses to court after relentless rude comments about her weight. Despite winning over £10,000 in damages, Linda is still very bitter. They made my life miserable for just over two years. And what sort of names did they call you? Lardy Linda Jakes. Jelly Belly Jakes. Jakes Eats Cakes. <laughs> Fatty Jakes. <laughs> Brilliant! <laughs> Fatty Jakes and carry on stuffing your fat face. Or uh, <laughs> about, uh, carry on at the Kyber fat ass instead of pass. Instead of pass, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I've got a deadline at five. Are oh, you kidding? Yeah. Oh, oh, whoops. Oh. Why are you down there, love? <laughs> oh. It's obvious, of course, that a lot of skirt doesn't know the difference between harassment and just a bit of harmless fun. But if you feel that you're being sexually harassed at work, Here's a couple of ways that could silence your tormentors once and for all. Every office has one high-spirited prankster who enjoys photocopying his private parts and then embarrassing a female colleague with the image. How about some of that? Oh, my God! Oh, my God. <laughs> Put an end to this tomfoolery by fitting a cobbler nobbler to the office photocopier. This new program recognises male genitals and automatically slams the lid shut when a cock and balls are placed on the copy deck. Oh, my God, cock and balls! Oh! <laughs> or get yourself a grope girdle. This touch-sensitive body kit can detect even the slightest fondlings of your arse and knockers, emitting a loud recorded vocal warning to the groper. Leave my ass alone, you dirty little fucker. That works pretty well. <laughs> nice ass kit. However, remember to disengage your grope girdle when you're not at work. Hey. This filthy bastard just fondled my tits off. <laughs> Here are the 11 o'clock show offices. Open-minded, educated adults work side by side without any real problems. However, all men should be aware that if you get caught with your hand up a skirt, that bit of skirt could see you get your hands up in court. This is Paul Garner, the 11 o'clock show offices, here in London. Oh, my cock and balls! <laughs> Oh, I like you doing that.